What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I wanted to come on here and go over a brand new light that Trustfire sent to me. This is the Trustfire Mini X3. Uh, really, really solid flashlight. Uh, they just sent it to me the other day. Here is the exact uh, actual item. And uh, I don't really need a lot of time to review it because uh, it's really awesome, actually. Um, and normally, you know, right off the bat, you know if something's going to be a winner or not. And this, my friends, is definitely a winner. So let's go over this light right now. It comes in this really good box. Uh, this is actually a cool box. It's got like a button on here, so it locks. And uh, then it slides out like that. Uh, when you get this, it comes with this uh, just cover on the top. It comes with your information packet right there. Uh, and it comes with your USB-C charging device as well. Now, on the outside of the box, you have a QR code. If you guys can scan that, it'll take you right to TrustFire.com. Um, and on the back, we have some information if it focuses. Okay, so uh, the LED light for 50,000 hours uh, lets you switch between uh, floodlight and spotlight. It's got the brightness max uh, up to 1,050 lumens. Uh, it has a built-in 1500 uh, milliamp hour polymer lithium battery with a type c charging port uh, memory mode uh, alloy metal body uh, and it has uh, really good hit, uh, heat dissipation i've been using it and it hasn't got hot at all uh, the shell is made out of aviation aluminum alloy now right here we got 10 000, or uh, 1050 uh, max lumens 128 meter throw 152 hours Type-C charging, one meter drop, IPX6. Now, IPX6 is basically weather resistant. It's, for all intents and purposes, waterproof, uh, just as far as splashing goes. I did look it up and it does say that they uh, splash tested it uh, by running water on it, 300 liters per minute for three minutes and there was no issues. So if you wanna take it and rinse it off underneath, you know, the water faucet or something like that, nothing's going to happen. You're going to be fine and dandy with that. So let's put this stuff back together and I'll be right back. And here we are with the information about this flashlight. Now, here's some of the uh, specs from the paperwork that comes with it. It does have a lockout mode. Uh, so you're good there. It does have a memory mode. It tells you how to charge basically. It's got all the information, uh, the spec wise uh, for it. It does have a low mode of 3.5 lumens it'll run for 152 hours it has a middle mode which is mid at 55 lumens for 15 hours and it has a high mode of 215 for four hours and seven minutes max brightness is extreme brightness with trust fire and that's 1050 lumens two hours and 10 minutes the uv light that comes with it also has a 50 hour runtime now this is the spotlight on the back of the light there is a floodlight uh it does not have a red light, but it does uh, have a high of 350 lumens for 3 hours and 16 minutes. It has a mid mode of uh, 55 lumens for 8 hours and a low mode of 5 lumens for 72 hours. The spotlight is a white light and the floodlight is warm white, as you can see here. It does tell you that. Uh, the battery indicator basically just tells you where you're at here if you guys want to pause and check that out. Uh, has some other product features it goes into uh, and that is about all we have going on with the spec paperwork so overall when I measured this light it is about four inches long it is about one inch thickness and it is about five eighths of an inch from uh, the top of the clip to the bottom here uh, the mode of operation is on the front facing uh, on the opposite side is the uh, floodlight, and then you have your switch to switch between the four modes that are on this flashlight. So if you look at this light, you can see here is your spotlight, here is your UV light, and in the middle is your laser, and on the back is your flood. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, turn off the lights. I uh, waited for it to get a little bit darker so I can show you what it looks like up against the wall, basically, and uh, you guys can uh, go from there. Now, it does have a deep carry pocket clip that is fantastic. It slides in and out of your pocket without any problem, and you can put it on the brim of a hat or something like that if you want to do that. So, as I was saying, you do have your mode of operation right here to switch through uh, the modes, up, but you do have a switch on the side to change from laser to spotlight to floodlight. So, let's get the lights off in here. 
and uh, show you guys what's going on. All right, so here we are. So one of the cool things about this uh, light is that when you press the button down, it won't just come on. It lights up so you know that that's what's going on. So if you hold it down, it'll come on in low mode. That is 3.5 lumens. Then you just press once, goes to mid mode, which is 50 lumens, 55 lumens. Press again, 215. Press again, 1050. Press again, you're back in the original mode that you were in, which is 3.5 lumens. Then hold down. Then if you press the switch forward that is on the side and hold down, you get the laser, which is a green laser. Um, that's pretty cool. Then you hold it down and that goes off. Then you slide it all the way to the bottom and turn it on. And now we're in the floodlight mode right here, if you can see that. Uh, and then you can switch through, that's high. That's low, which is five. That's mid, which is 55. And then that's high, which is 303. And then you go back around to where you wanna be. Hold it down to turn it off and then put the switch back where you want it. Now, I will turn the lights on and be right back. So here we are. And overall, it is a really, really simple mode of operation with this item. Um, as you can see, it does have some grips on the side. Um, it is really ergonomic. I mean, it is pretty flat, so um, super grippy and, you know, it's not like you're gonna lose it. It does have the USB-C uh, port right there, so you're good with that. And again, this is the flood. Uh, this is the spot, this is the UV, and that is the laser. Now, in order to get to UV, you just hold it down and then hold it down again and UV comes on and now you're in UV. Hold it down and it goes right off and then it comes back on and tells you what your charge is. So I'm green, so I'm fully charged. Now the good thing I like about Trustfire as well, it does have a lockout mode. If you just click it once, twice, it's in lockout now, right? So it won't come on and just blank. Now if you click it twice again, one, two, it comes back on in the mode you left it off in. Turn it off by holding it down. The good thing is, very seldom will this light come on in your pocket because of the way Trustfire has their operating mechanism. If you just press it, it won't come on. You have to literally press it and hold it in order for it to come on. So it's highly unlikely that it'll come on in your pocket. It's just not likely. And I like that a lot. Now you can lock it out if you need to. I have it and I haven't had a problem. So that's really awesome. And like I said, it hasn't come out of my pocket, but I've had it on for a while. It will tail stand. It does have a magnetic base, as you can see here. And it tells you it's a 3.7 volt 1500 mAh lithium ion battery. So uh, you can tail stand it and I left it on and it didn't get hot or nothing like that. So super cool. Um, overall, like I said, it's a really solid flashlight. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of features um, and it comes in at $79. I will put a link in the description as well as a discount code. So shout out to Trustfire for sending this over and shout out to Kevin, uh, who is uh, the sales rep that I deal with. I appreciate you guys sending this to me. Now, uh, this uh, definitely competes with some other lights that are out there, uh, like the Arkfeld. Uh, this has all the features of the Arkfeld Pro, and it is shorter and is about $20 cheaper. So this is definitely an Olight killer for sure. Um, I would definitely check this out if I were you. This is honestly a light that I would buy another one. This was sent to me, full disclosure. I did not pay for this, but I would buy this. There are multiple colors. Uh, of this item and I believe they're on the outside of the box right here We have a black a gray titanium gold a army green a midnight blue and a desert yellow I really like the blue so I might be picking that up myself. It's really nice So you guys get a chance check it out definitely uh, with the link that I put in the description It does have like this kind of coppery rose goldy uh, Accents on that makes it look nice really nice looking flashlight Really useful, really easy to operate. Uh, it's got good run times. This pocket clip is sick, in and out, no problems. And uh, it does everything you need it to do. It'll tail stand, it'll magnetically stick to stuff. It's got a flood, it's got a spot, it's got a UV, it's got a laser. You know, come on, it's got everything. Um, I definitely would recommend picking this up um, at the price. Uh, and like I said, use a discount code, you get a discount. It'll be even less than what it is on their site. So again, you guys check it out. This is the Trustfire. Mini X3, 1050 max lumen, Type-C charging. Really awesome old light killer right here. You guys check it out.